It's time for all the hits, highlights, and heroes. It's time for Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. Oh, it's good to have the prep piggy under the Friday night lights. Welcome to the Friday night blitz powered by Pikes Peak State College. I'm your host, Rob Namnum. All right, let's jump right into it. We begin tonight with Falcon and Fountain Fort Carson, and it's our Friday night blitz pick of the week. And here we go, Fountain Fort Carson and Falcon. And emotional start to the game, Miles McClarity. He's battling leukemia, brought the team out of the field, and that's Tavian Tooley to Josiah Steven Silva. And that's 54 yards, Trojans up 7-0. Falcons with an answer though. Carter Thorpe, ah, beautiful pass. One foot down, the refs say, that's good for six. Falcon kicks the extra point. And they're looking good here later on. Thorpe is gonna call his own number. Punches it in, and Falcons will go up 14 to seven. The Trojans, third down. Thule, drop it back. Oh, nice ball. Way to go get it, Steven Silva. Again, big boy making big plays. And then they get the ball back. Thule connects as he zips that one into Darian Martin, 21-14. Fountain Fort Carson victorious in their season opener as they went 49 to 21. Mesa Ridge and Kennedy from C.A. Foster, second quarter. Bryce Real fakes the handoff, and he's got Carver Cheeks. They're excited to have him on offense, 35 nothing Grizz. And then it's Real going up top. And it's that man again, Cheeks. Oh, a little fade in the end zone there. Mesa with another play on defense this time, the INT. And then Mesa Ridge picking up a 55 to 13 victory. So Mesa Ridge is looking good here on opening night. All right, we've got more prep pigskin action. Let's take you now to a big game tonight between Vista Ridge and Legend as we showcase two of the top players in the state who happen to play at Vista Ridge. Wolves quarterback Braden Dorman, who played next fall at Arizona, and one of his many receiving threats, Brandon Hills, he'll ball at Washington State in the fall. Wolves opening up the season against Legend, and here's our legendary broadcaster, Danny Mata. Danny? Wow, Rob, that makes me feel very nice. I appreciate you, man. Happy opening night. Yes, uh, it, Vista Ridge, you know, entered this season with a lot to prove because they got a slew of elite players, as you talked about, and some are going to play college ball, but they didn't win state last year, and they want to make a deep run to show everyone that it's not just a matter of flash. They can put this whole thing together and become champions. Let's go to Vista Ridge High School. We're pumped up for this one. And the offense is going right away. Dorman to BB Hills. Dead, dead, hello. And this dude is gone. It's a 41 yard touchdown. He makes one move and suddenly he's free. Yeah, gotta love that. Then later, Dorman going deep to Keyshawn Dooley and he's got him. And this dude is G O N E gone, running like the class bully is chasing him for a 79 yard touchdown. Two point conversion good. It's 15 0. But after 31 straight points by Legend, Vista comes back. Another amazing grab by B.B. Hills. He was terrific in this one. Unfortunately, not enough as Vista loses a track meet by a score of 47 to 43. All right, we've got Lewis Palmer taking on Discovery Canyon students. Jack for this one. Here, the snap's going to go over the punter's head. He's going to try and corral it so he can get it off, but Jacob Youssef is there. I said no. Just pulls him down in the end zone for the safety. 26 to 14, and then later on the safety kickoff, a great run back by Tyler Peters, making all kinds of moves that would lead to this. Keanu likewise. 37-yard field goal. Good. 29-14. Discovery Canyon. Lewis Palmer answering. Kenton Kenley in for a one-yard touchdown. But that would not be enough as the Thunder hold on to win this one by a score of 29 to 21. So we had a couple of track meets, some really close games out there tonight. 
Rob, so a lot of fun. I think if tonight's any indicator, we are in for one heck of a season. It's going to be a good one. All right. Thank you for that, Danny. Always appreciate the enthusiasm. The Pueblo West football team entered week one with some dirt under their fingernails. Pete up, opened up the year last week in grand fashion with a 20-point victory over Grand Junction. The Cyclones hosting Dakota Rich tonight, first quarter. And Gavin Lockett. Locked in, finds Brock Keck. Oh, oh, a heck of a grab there. And then Cyclones. Lock it. Gives a little shake to his defender here. And then it's Keck. Look at the footwork. Oh, the toe tap on the sidelines. I think that's toe, da toe drag swag is what the kids call it. Lock it going up top. And Keck coming down with it. Wow, P-Dub, another dub. They're 2-0 as they win 21-14. TCA and Eaton from the Classical Academy. The Reds, the defending 2A state champ. Good test out of the jump for the Titans and Aaron Johnson. Great open field tackle. This was a low scoring affair tonight. Titans staying disciplined on D. Blake Van Togren, Campbell Gaw, not fooled. The Titans in the first half, getting the offense going here. Andrew Brown picking up a first down there. Then it's Ethan Aragundi. Puts his head down, picks up another first down. A great win for the Titans tonight as they prevail by a score of 19 to 16. More blitzing after the break.